Hi, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to be sharing a reading and um, some thoughts on a poem. And this poem is The Clasp by Sharon Olt. She was four, he was one. It was raining, we had colds, we had been in the apartment two weeks straight. I grabbed her to keep her from shoving him over on his face again, and when I had her wrist in my grasp, I compressed it fiercely for a couple of seconds to make an impression on her, to hurt her, our beloved firstborn. I even almost savored the stinging sensation of the squeezing, the expression into her of my anger. Never, never again, the righteous chant accompanying the clasp. It happened very fast. Grab, crush, 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 release. And at the first extra force, she swung her head as if checking who this was and looked at me and saw me. Yes, this was her mom. Her mom was doing this. Her dark, deeply open eyes took me in. She knew me. In the shock of the moment, she learned me. This was her mother, one of the two whom she most loved, the two who loved her most. Near the source of love was this. I like that this takes one moment, um, one uh, emotional, meaningful moment, and yet a very ordinary, understandable, relatable, mundane moment. Uh, We've, we've all been in that sort of space of frustration and being pushed past knowing how to, you know, respond in the most reasonable, effective, you know, strategic, understanding way. And there's just, you, you just, you got to do something. He, she can't just go on pushing her brother over. That's not okay. But it takes it and as a poem... And in thinking about it and exploring this moment, it takes it beyond just that moment. And if you're one of my students and you've been through the poetry section, you hopefully remember me talking about how a poem explores and describes and considers and reflects throughout the poem. And if it is going to make the main idea clear, it usually does so at the end. And so I think. For, for me, the, the main idea or the meaning of the poem, the purpose here, is about the way that the intersection of love and pain, that it hurts more when the hurt comes from someone we love. And at the same time, loving someone makes us vulnerable. It makes it so that it, it gives them more power to hurt us. And yet, when we look at the, you know, the, the, the mother is not being, um, she's not doing this with the purpose to hurt her daughter. She's doing this so that, again, her daughter won't continue to hurt her son. And, uh, you know, and, and out of frustration and, and um, exasperation and, and not knowing what else to do, the, the, you know, not having a good response, she's also tired and not feeling well and, and worn out and, and hopefully has tried some other options first and, and nothing seems to have worked. And there is also a sense of, of regret and, and apology there, um, but, but also not knowing what else to do. And again, I think that's very relatable that sometimes we are pushed past our boundaries and we do something that, that maybe we regret, but maybe we don't know what else we should have done. You know, I should have, I should have, I should have done something different. Well, what? You know, told her not to, you know, push her brother on her face. Guess what? Tried that. Apparently didn't work. Didn't take. So there's a lot that's relatable, even though I've never been in that exact situation. I, I haven't raised children, but I understand the, you know, I've tried this and it didn't work. I've tried that and it didn't work. And I tried that. And all of a sudden I'm in this moment where that, that asks for an immediate response and I don't have anything good. So I do something and maybe it's not good, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so there's a lot that's going on that 
is relatable in a broader sense, even if you haven't been in this exact situation. And I really like that. And I also like the idea that you don't get the idea that it's destroyed her relationship with her daughter, that it's made her or, or, or her daughter's relationship with her. The love is still worth it, I think, when, when you explore that, that you have these moments, but they are just moments and in, in, in a healthy relationship, that, that you will have problems, that it won't always just go easily and everybody understands each other, you know? When she's four or how old were they? Yeah, she's four. You know, going through a rational, you know, explanation of choices and consequences, yeah, it's not always going to work with a four-year-old. You know, they're very focused in the moment. I love the specific detail. There's some, some use of very deliberate alliteration. Where was it? Savored the stinging sensation of the squeezing. Actually, I'm going to say that's not alliteration. A better word for that would be consonants because sensation, you've also got the repetition of the S in the middle of the word squeezing. And there's a little bit of a sibilant there midway through squeezing as well. And then also we, we see again some repetition, never, never again. There are three words, never, never again, three, three beats. And that tells us a little bit later that that goes on with grab, crush, 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 release. So never, never again. She does the, the, the crush three times, push, 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 in with the words. So it, it accompanies that pressure. And I also like the fact, you know, just using that word pressure made me think of this, that it, it, she's the expression into her of my anger, of literal pressure. The mother is under pressure and she, she puts that pressure into, onto her child, her daughter, her firstborn child. Um, so there's, you know, there's so much to look at there. I like the bit about her eyes at the end. Um, the, 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 like, the, the bit of like, what? what? You know, the, the, the daughter's surprise. And her eyes looked at me and knew me. In the shock of the moment, she learned me. You know, that, that this is a novel experience for the daughter, but it's also, she's realizing that, you know, her mother is a complex person. And obviously this is not just a once and done type thing, but, you know, parents aren't perfect. None of us is perfect. And, and we don't always get what we want. We don't always do what we want. So yeah, there's a lot to look at here. It's deceptively simple and a little uncomfortable, maybe painful and sad but hopeful, I think, too. And even though it's about an uncomfortable moment, it makes me, it makes me feel good. I think because it, it does seem like it hasn't ruined their relationship and that, you know, even though sometimes things aren't perfect, they don't go the way we want them to, that you can recover from that. And that's, that's a worthwhile, that's a worthwhile thought. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm going to try to remember to put a link to the poem on like poets.org or something like that so that you can read it and reflect. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this poem in the comments. Or if you have a request for um, a poem that you'd like to share with me, that would also be awesome. Um, so yeah, check out the description and leave me a comment. Bye for now, everybody.